what's going on? I came to give a rundown of the direction I'm going in with Capitals Corner. And there's a few avenues that we're going to go down. But I want to jump into why I hate the internet. And there's a lot of layers to why I hate the internet. But I wrote a little something on my phone to kind of give a glimpse. And I texted to me just so I could see what's up. And I'm not a fan of the internet and everything that we use it for. <sighs> we need the internet. In this day and age, everything we do, we need it. We have unlimited resources in the palm of our hands. We have access to every historical document, every groundbreaking bit of technology, every update that you could possibly fathom, we have access to it at our fingertips. But we use it for nonsense, nonsense. And in my personal opinion, we're wasting time. And I mean, it's life, right? There's been philosophers of generations before that spoke about how people of their time was wasting time. Okay. I look at the development of technology, which is a lot of what we're going to talk about on these upcoming episodes because I'm locked in to making this a full time, you know, thing where once a week you guys have something and I'm learning from this too. So everything I post, I look back on and I learn from like I take the time to write it out like it's not scripted, but my ideas are written down and structured for me to bring out. So I see the types of nonsense on the Internet. I see the short attention spans in the children. I see I see the short attention span in adults. Adults, mind you, we're talking 20 plus years old that can't even stay focused because they're doing the mindless scrolling too. Lost. Lost. But everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to be famous. Everybody's looking at what people are doing on the internet. And it's the new version of keeping up with the Joneses. This is where we are right now. So <clears throat> I wanted to bring up, and I'm going to put this on screen. I wanted to bring up the time spent engaged with whatever online. So you got the time spent shopping online, which looking at the average amount of money spent per household, we're going to bring that up for you. The time spent on social media across all platforms. Then we have the time watching YouTube and other, you know, I guess we can say long form content, but YouTube does have shorts now. So that's kind of broken down as well into that kind of mindless scrolling and the time spent on Netflix and or video games, things of that nature. And then you have screen time, how much time was spent in front of a screen. Because, you know, we've seen things from 90s and 2000s where we were glued in front of television screens. I came up in the video game era where we were raised playing video games in front of a screen. You come home, you do some homework, you plop yourself in front of a screen. Saturday morning cartoons was a thing. But how much time are we spending in front of screens now? Okay. And then we have the other kind of side of the Internet. And I'm not even going into the dark side of the Internet, but we're talking about the other side where the gurus, we got the gurus, the, the geniuses, the multi-billionaires, the gurus of the Internet, the ones that will teach you everything you need to know about your life for a small price. This is why I've decided to bring about certain concepts 
So conceptual shows that I've had in mind for a while now that I've been ironing out details, just getting everything in order the way I felt it should be. I almost didn't start until God knows when. Just trying to get every T cross and I dotted to the point of perfection. When, come on, bro. I would have never dropped a thing. So I had favors. I ain't a favor. I had that. Short form content on social media. I want to make favors a long form podcast where we dive into certain things going on that people kind of need to know. It's, it's, it's almost common sense, but a lot of people don't exhibit certain traits that we should have, you know, whether it's empathy, whether it's deliberate acts of kindness that social media doesn't need to know about. It's just being a genuine person outside of the internet because there is a life outside of the internet. A lot of people will feed people, feed homeless people, give homeless people money, but once the camera's cut off, it's over. So it's about paying it forward in all reality. Then I decided to come up with solutions. Shout out to solutions. Solutions is more of a business aspect, an entrepreneurial show that whatever I know, I'll just talk about. I already wrote down some episode topics that I feel kind of go in the right direction of where we're headed. Then also incorporating viewer questions or viewer comments. If you guys know something and can add value to whatever I had going on or whatever I mentioned, dive in and we continue it in the comments, you know, and if I can find someone to run a discord or whatever the case may be, because I suck at discord so I can build a community based on solutions. So finding solutions to everyday problems as well as business. So we want to know how to manage money, how to deal with this, you know, accounting, not saying you have to fully account your own books, but having a general baseline understanding of accounting where you can go to your accountant and make their lives a lot smoother and they can work twice as hard with half the effort. If you understand what I mean, you'll be able to get a better bang for your buck and kind of make your accountant's life easier underscoring everything that you need to do in life. So I'm hit a, it's yellow tape. So I'm putting yellow tape around the whole game, whether you're an internet guru, an influencer, and you're leading the people astray, I'm here to tape you up. If you're sitting here force feeding information to people that's complete nonsense, I'm here to tape you up. I have my political standpoints that I may or may not bring on these shows, who knows? But in all reality, this is here to make humans better. We're here to make the lives of humans better. So I want you to look at those stats that I posted in terms of what we use the Internet for and think of ways you can be more productive on the Internet. Think of ways you can increase. I don't want to just say your net worth and make it all about money, but increase your overall value as a human using those resources available to you. There are millions of resources available. Any book that you've ever come to think of in your mind can be found online. And we still have the library. I have a book that I rented, I said rented, I borrowed from the library. It's right over there, it's Project Management Jumpstart. It's over there, I'm not getting up to get it. But I've been reading that to increase my knowledge on project management. I have another book on accounting. It's just, I have a collection of books on the other side of my office. It's just expanding your knowledge. I have eBooks on my phone, which is why I love the Z Fold so much because it's, it's pretty much a tablet in your hands, not branding, not advertising anything. Cause I'm over the whole consumer based thing too, being honest with you. I'm freaking over it. I'm tired of this consumer mentality and chasing the next best deal, the next Black Friday, the next Cyber Monday, the next tag sale clearance nonsense. I'm, I'm over it. That doesn't add value to our lives. It doesn't. I'm here for whatever it takes to add value to our lives and add generational value to our loved ones, ways that we can help improve the lives of our friends and family. That's the name of the game. That's the that's it. So we're going to have favors rolling out. Favors is what it was before. I need a favor. What can we do to better ourselves? And every favor, and this is a little kind of a Easter egg thrown out there. Every favor I've ever done was something that I applied to my life prior to even putting it out. 
So this was something that I either needed to work on or something I noticed a friend or family member needed to work on and I felt it resonated on a global scale. Not saying I'm reaching millions of people, but hopefully the people that received the message were receptive of it and was like, all right, I dig it. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you. So that's favors. Then we have solutions, which is, as previously mentioned, business. You know, um, concepts, excuse me for that, concepts that can help enhance our lives, whether entrepreneurial or, or investment or anything that resonates with bettering yourself in the world of finance and equity building and wealth building. That's the goal for that. So show some love. I'm here to do what I can do to make things happen. And honestly, I almost I almost did not make this happen, realistically speaking. I almost didn't do it. It was, oh, wrestling with this thought, wrestling with that thought. And that's another thing the Internet does to you. I'll see. I can't even think of names right now, but I, OK, I'll see a Bedros Koulian and then. Wow, his production quality is phenomenal. And the way he handles things online is amazing. You know, I'm sure he has a great team behind him, which I don't really have much of a team pushing me. My wife might help here and there. But other than that, my kids will probably be behind the camera from time to time. So that's why I invested in this camera system to kind of give me that leg up and kind of give people, you know, freedom to do your own thing. So my I wanted my production quality to be that of the big dogs. And I know it's going to take me some time to get there. So you have to crawl before you walk. So that's another thing that the internet does to us. We see all these people running and we forget. We don't see when they were crawling. We don't get to see when they were walking even. We just see them flying. Private jets, literally. But no, really. But we see them flying and we're like, man, how do I? No, you need to figure out who you are and build off of that foundation. Yeah, pretty dope. So that's the direction we're going in. Listen, anytime you have a question or a concern, you can DM me on Instagram. You can drop a comment. But Instagram is probably the best method of communication and how I like to deal with things. It's a great hub for me to just do 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 without the crazy phone numbers and stuff given out like that. So I do not even I I do listen. I, I am receptive to any ideas. Anything that anyone wants to hear or discuss, I'm down for it. So talk to me. Until next time, this is kind of, I guess you could say episode one in a sense. But this is just the prequel to the shows themselves. So we're going to go in episode format. It's going to be on YouTube. I'm debating on going in the direction of the audio aspect, I'll see because I do want to use some visual cues and some stats and other information. So either I'll read the stats off or I'll have them posted in the video clip as we go along. So if if we do go the audio route, it'll probably have to be a little different. Maybe some things will go audio and we'll figure out the kinks from there. But any suggestions, please drop them in the comments. If you're here for this rod, let's get it. Till next time. Thank you for tuning in. We'll meet again.